here, um, you all asked me to do a Q&A video and here it is finally. I hope you enjoy it and um, yes, comment and like if you want and have fun. What is your favorite food? Tomatoes! <laughs> uh, yes, um, as funny as it is, it's tomatoes, um, but I like almost everything. So um, you can make me happy with uh, steaks, um, vegetables, um, mushroom soup, pizza, uh, pasta, um, some Greek food. Um, Almost everything. <laughs> Did you teach yourself playing the guitar? Yes, I've learned the guitar all by myself. Um, I've started to learn it in um, 2011 um, because I wanted to be as Richard Kruspe from Rammstein. Uh, yes, I just wanted to be as cool and badass as him and uh, yeah. That was the main reason why I started to play the guitar and um, yeah, here I am now. <laughs> what was your funniest and what your most emotional moment on stage, in your music career? And what do you expect from the new upcoming album of Rammstein? Um, my funniest moment on stage uh, was in 2016 uh, when I played the concert with Grausame Töchter in a small club in uh, Frankfurt and uh, during one song <laughs> I've lost my pick and it fell down and um, I tried my best to pick up another one I had um, in my guitar neck and just I just couldn't grab it because um, it was so sweety and yeah, I, I wasn't able to grab it and so um, I had to play with my fingers and um, during the last uh, chorus I saw the, the pig I lost um, on the floor and uh, somebody in the first row um, noticed that as well and before I could bow and grab it he took it and smiled at me and I thought are oh, you serious? This was my only chance to pick up another pig and you took it. So. Yeah, shit happens sometimes. Um, my most emotional moment uh, was on stage also. Um, actually the first time I was on stage uh, together with Stahlmann. And that was actually the moment I realized that I wanted to do music, that I wanted to entertain people because um, all the energy you feel from the people around you and all the energy they are giving to you and the, the feelings so to, to see all the people who have fun and party and all the other things doesn't care them so yeah that was my most emotional moment I think. Uh, what do you think about the upcoming album of Rammstein? Um, I don't know actually, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty excited, of course, because um, it's been a long time that I've bought out a new album and it's time finally. So I'm just excited and I hope uh, I'll be fast enough to be the first to cover their new songs. <laughs> How do you motivate yourself when you're completely demotivated? Um, pretty simple actually. Um, I'm just watching other guitarists playing songs I want to play on YouTube. And um, so one, maybe one or two hours and then it gets me and I want to play the guitar again as well. So. One thing I like about your videos are the wacky faces you do while you play. Why you do them? You do those faces intentionally, or it comes naturally. <laughs> this wacky faces, <laughs> um, um, they're really coming naturally, so I don't fake them. If you wanted to notice, it's just um, 
it's me having fun playing the guitar and uh, I think even if I try I can't stop them so great if you like them and uh, sorry if you don't like them I can't stop it <laughs> How did you come up with the idea to create your own YouTube channel? Uh, same reason why I've started to learn the guitar, I guess. Um, I just wanted to be cool and uh, yes, um, almost nobody in my friend circle had a YouTube channel back then and so I decided to be the first and just do it and yes, so there was no bigger reason behind it. Is being a musician your main job? No, it isn't yet, but I'm starting to cut back hours at the 1st of September, um, so I'll be able to do even more music and I'll also make an own EP with three songs. Um, I'll play all the instruments by myself, the guitar, the drums, uh, keys, and I'll maybe sing, um, I'm not sure about that yet. Um, yes, so I hope to be a musician in full time soon. I will go to a Ramstein tribute show on November 2nd in Germany. Then I'll go to the Ramstein show in Mexico on December 31st. Will you go to any of them? I really hope you are attending the Rammstein tribute show of Stahlzeit then, because um, they're officially the best Rammstein tribute band I know. And uh, no, I won't attend their show on November the 2nd, but I'll join their show on uh, their Berlin concert. I think it's mid of November, I'm not sure. And um, I really would like to attend the Ramstein show in Mexico, but unfortunately I can't because I have some other plans I can't postpone at New Year. But I wish you a great time, have fun and rock it! What kind of rig setup do you have that gives you an awesome tone when you shoot a video and will you make more QA videos in the future? I use my camper of course as an uh, amp. Um, some of you ask if I use any preamps. No, I don't. It's just the camper um, with a special profile. And um, besides this, of course, my guitars. And um, I'm editing the sound in Personal Studio 1 uh, 4. <laughs> I've updated my studio, so I don't know all my current uh, versions at the moment, sorry. Um, and yes, I, I added them and um, that's all I do. So there's no special tricks, it's just camper mostly and some one or two person editing in Studio One. And of course I'll do a gear run video soon as well. So um, I talk about my whole gear then, uh, what I'm using, what profiles I'm using and um, how I edit my sounds, etc. etc and it will release in, I think, mid of September, end of September latest. Ah, and uh, before I forget, of course, I'll do some more Q&A videos in future. When performing life in front of many people, have you ever had anything really bad and unexpected happen? <laughs> um, yes, more than once, actually. Uh, one time was uh, when I played a gig with Gossam and Töchter, it was uh, the support show of Marilyn Manson actually and I jumped all around the stage because uh, I wanted, I, I was so happy to play that concert and I uh, didn't notice the big red cross in front of me on some kind of black foil I guess and um, I totally underestimated the situation and uh, wanted to, to go further to the uh, people standing there and uh, someone waved at me and said no stop and I luckily I saw him and stopped and then I finally noticed that this is foil where you can you can't step on and I 
I really had to work hard to, to balance myself on the edge between stage and foil and uh, yes, all went good, for God's sake, uh, but I really was uh, sweeting because it uh, wouldn't be cool if you fell off the stage, I guess. And the um, second one uh, was with Traum Tensor in, um, in Leipzig this year when we played at Wave Gothic Treffen. Um, last song, my favorite song, and two of my strings broke. So I wasn't able to play it the way I like to and really had to think about, okay, how is it possible to, to play it uh, without someone noticing that um, my strings broke. And so I decided to, to play it one octave higher. I worked out, but uh, it was really hard to, to improvise that fast and uh, yeah, but had fun at the show, um, was our first one together and was the greatest one. So yeah, shit happens. <laughs> Do you listen to other types of music outside metal? If so, can you name a few and what are your plans for the future near and long term? Uh, yes, I'm listening to film music, for example. Um, I totally love uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And um, I don't know if someone knows it, but uh, One Winged Angel is my all-time favorite of orchestra music. And um, besides this, uh, when I go partying, I also listening to hip-hop and rap, if it has to be. but yeah, um, enough alcohol makes me dance to every music out there, I think, besides Schlager. Um, and my plans in near and long term, um, I want to have success with my music, of course. Um, I'm planning to release my own EP, I've talked about it one some questions earlier and um, my biggest goal of 2018 is uh, to reach 100,000 subscribers and I really hope this will work. Um, I know I have to upload some more videos to get it work and I'm already working on them. Just need your support and I hope you're sharing this channel so that my wish will be fulfilled. <laughs> what is your favorite city? Do you want to live in another country? Uh, that's pretty easy to answer. Um, my all-time favorite city is Berlin and I'm already living in Berlin, so I'm happy. Uh, but I have to admit that I visited Riga um, last week and I really enjoyed being there because all the people were so friendly and um, one told me that Riga is um, the Paris of the East and I really think um, that's true. So I definitely want to visit Riga again, but I don't want to change the country I'm living in. So I'm happy where I am. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, here, wie macht man das? Uh, take one. <laughs> <laughs> take one. Uh, take one out of uh, 100. Um, the beginning. Ja, habe ich. Ähm, ich habe 2011 mit Gitarre spielen angefangen, ähm, aus damals nur einem einzigen Grund tatsächlich. Äh, äh, ja, hättest du mir vielleicht auch früher sagen können, dass ich gerade auf Deutsch rede, du Depp. <lacht> Scheiße. Ich dachte gerade, oh, warum ist denn das plötzlich so einfach? Ähm, 